Den Erdgang aus Beton. Eben dick. Du wirst gesät. Look out. All the topics are coming into focus. The right type of, uh, let me use the right word, the right type of focus. You see this here? This battery slash mustache takes about three full days to charge. Three fucking days on the fucking very small single battery charger the light will be red you can set it there you gonna wait you'll be like damn that thing's not charged up yet no 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 it's not and it goes in this and this one is also very specificated mustache attached solid craft you see how it's built Using the craft with the letter K, it's solid craft. Turns your hat upside down type shit. Turns your hat upside down type shit. You know, the hat upside down wouldn't always work as a mask. Couldn't always just run with that sort of a glitch. And why would you? You freak? You weirdo? You got some reason to... Shave your mustache so you can have that mustache. What are we talking about? And that's exactly the, that's exactly the point that needs to be made. What are we talking about? With that badass magnet on there. It was left by my friend. I gave her the opportunity to back. And I'm like, did you just leave this battery over here? You just set this battery down and just walked away from it to what? See what I would do if I was going to take it? If I would inquire about it? Put it in my laser beam? What's the point? You know, because that battery, that dark beam, that motherfucker is like levels above. Those other batteries blow up. They explode. They don't get better. They get possibly explosive. And that's a fact. You can look that shit up. That one's better. It's, I've had this experience with the batteries two or three different times. Two or three different times. And when my device and my tablet got about... Because the battery that's in this tablet is a fire or something. It was an Amazon tablet. I paid 40 bucks for it. And it was a great deal. But they only had it on sale that one time. They have advanced versions of it. It's more advanced than the one now. But even it, like immediately out the box, I could turn it into an Android by adding four different files I could download on my browser of the phone without a computer. And then run. And it would have the operating system of the Android, not the Amazon limited access shit. Meaning I could put everything I could have on my phone on the fucking thing. Now, I sat there and I watched the thing factory erase itself. I watched it do it. I was like, no, I tried to press stop and it, it was doing it on its own. It was doing it on its own. And it wiped it. And you could never put it back on there again. 
just like I can't just normally put that hat on upside down that's on my face. It's not, it's not covering my face. But you see the infinity symbol is the key. You see it by the rim of the hat. You know, you see it over the tarot guy. In the tarot with the magician. They have above the magician's head the infinity symbol. That's the contact with the intelligent infinity. Which gives access to intelligent energy. Now, Cat Williams is talking to Joe Rogan, and they've never met. They had just met right now. And Cat Williams came out and did an interview and told on all of the people in the fucking... He told, he told on the Steve Harvey. Let's get Steve Harvey to find out. Let's get some Steve Harvey. Can I ask it for Steve Harvey without having to use my... To her. Steve Harvey. It'll 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 listen. Is it right in it? No, it's not listening. Oh, we got a problem here. I gotta use this microphone. Erase that part. All right. It tells you there's a problem and it wants me to press the button like you saw, but it doesn't really create any problem until the time that you have to listen to the recording. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's not the Steve Harvey. These aren't the droids we were looking for. I, now I'm going to go down the line. I get the flat, no, 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 no. Steve Harvey can't have my beard. Steve Harvey, this is what's wrong with you already. Steve Harvey. Oh, yeah, Steve Harvey. See, Steve Harvey, yeah, ball headed. Go ahead and take the hair off, that's right. Go ahead and take the hair off. Steve Harvey. Unlike Dave Chappelle. He took it in the butt. He must have. Because he, he got the money line. He's still working. So. If it's an accumulated amount of money. Or if it's a lump sum. I don't know. Dave Chappelle's not the type. He's going to leave. He's going to leave. He's not the type. He's not the type. Cat Williams ain't the type. He might can play the type. And it sounds like it. That's a small dude. But he's black. He's all the way black. But he's a little bitty fucking dude. He's not a big old fucking, you know. And he knows the fullness of his own race where he can talk about some of the shit. And poke the fun at it that is funny about it. And they're talking about the topic of menthol cigarettes. Now, I smoked menthol cigarettes, so I know. And I smoked non-menthol cigarettes for a long time. The reason I like to smoke menthol cigarettes may or may not be the same reason most black people smoke menthol cigarettes. More than normals. But I'll kind of go with the guidelines of, of the reasoning that he had put forth because it was just five minutes ago. I don't know how late I am to the table of listening to him talk. But he's he's about to tell Joe some shit. But, you know, he, he doesn't want to answer the question because of the racism that will get involved when you go to answer the questions. And Joe doesn't really apprehend it in the same manner. Because he's saying, well, you could ask me about spaghetti, you see. But he's not like the thick Italians that were walking in in my dream that were going to get in there. You know, if he were one of those ones, 
with the fucking Mario jumpsuit or whatever the fuck. These were like super Italians. These Italians were, they weren't mafia. They were already flooded with immigrants, Italians, mainland, boot Italians, not some fucking Not the ones with a bunch of black in them from when the Moors conquested. No, no. Not Sicilians. No, they were from somewhere. On the boot. Italian. Not way up north, speaking German, like my lady friend Britta. This is a lady I'd met a long time ago on a dating site and had so much fun with and I'd love to hang out with her because she was so much fun to hang out with she was rich as fuck she had a whole um, ranch in uh, Weatherford, Texas she bred cutting horses and she was a big old girl too so seeing her ride them horses like with the fucking uh, High powered camera, fucking single shot, blown up, turned into a picture on the wall. Like, she was getting down on that horse. And for as big as she is, for that horse not to be having problems and her to be moving it like she is, it's gotta be an exceptionally badass horse. But I'm just saying, they use those horses to cut out. The cows that they want to put them into different um, areas. Like maybe that's what I was. Maybe I was being cut from my um, and I and I was because I wasn't gonna stay and be in my job working out of town for the period of time and the the lengths it would take me to dissolve my family relations, you know. And they just didn't have any more work that was near town that anybody in the company could get that hadn't had to go through the process of elevating themselves up to being somebody that could get an in-town job, not have to go out of town. You see, some people want to work out of town. They don't want to be in town. They can philander and do all their shit that they want to do when they're out, out of work, out of town, and still make a little extra money because the company gives them per diem and shit and puts them in a hotel. You know, that's a lot of costs that you don't have to incur if you can go work on a job like that. That is beneficial. If you're saving up, it's a lot of extra money you can save up. If you're being hit with child support, you might not even give a fuck. You might not even care. You might get that money back in your gas payment that they give you once a week. $150 every fucking week extra on a single check you have to go in cash. Like they did us. Now I left that job, but I left it upon very occult and mystical experiences because I had made contact with something. And uh, it told me when to leave, and I did, and I just left. But I didn't get to go back to my job. And I'm not sure they would hire me back because um, my boss needed me to stay to go and take some classes to get a badge that would cover a bunch more people that would be coming up in the next flood of migrants or workers from Houston. And uh, although I heard what he said and I understood why he wanted me in that position, I didn't still at first have a family and have to leave. Because the contact told me that I needed to go home and be with my family. And I did. And it led to all kinds of shit, ultimately, that I can now see post having it all happen to me. But if I had stayed there and done that as it would have been, I wouldn't be alive. I would have died. And I could see that that would have been a lot easier to happen. It could have been in a car crash. It could have been... Something health could have been an altercation. There could be many reasons to do something foolish and die and not say it was like specifically drug related. 
because that wouldn't be accurate. And it wouldn't. It wouldn't be accurate. And it wouldn't be accurate to tell the story yet of what actually was the encounter. But I probably will, and I don't know if I've ever told the story. So it's probably approaching the time. I guess I could tell it now, because the reason for even being here isn't it's even Steve Harvey, is not Cowboy Hat. A lot of it is interpreting your dreams and realizing that you're in the dream. Now, I listened to a video almost, and the topic was about time speeding up, which it is. It is speeding up, but that's irrelevant. Like the base speed, they use atomic clocks to sync up and tell, and it is moving faster. And beginning to because the energy input into the earth is becoming greater. So. Now. I like to go to the river. Because. At this job. It was the boundary of the state. And a river. It was the Red River. And. I was very aware that there is a um, a condition, let's say, of the threshold. When you have a boundary, that's a natural boundary, and then you put right on top of it a legal boundary, which is a man-made concept. It's not a natural thing at all. But when you overlay them onto like a river, which is a lot of times it is a natural boundary for, for our, uh, um, the land that we believe we can capture, inhabit, or whatever it is we do. Now you see the Native Americans don't do this. They didn't have the concept of land ownership that came back here with horses and pigs to the Americas. That hadn't been here since the last ice age. It hadn't. They didn't have forces here. They also didn't have the wheel. Interesting. But they lived a lot more harmoniously. Within their tribe they did. Not amongst themselves. To say it was some sort of blissful paradise is also bullshit. Because they were some brutal motherfuckers to one another. The na natives, Native Americans. But in at large, each of their tribes did have a greater experience of peaceful, natural, abiding in nature. You know, with not having great, much reason to, to mar their own... Um, environment in the same ways as like the Europeans and the rest of the worlds did. They weren't. Now when I went to the river the first experience I had I was by myself. I went out there with the machete because I'm from Houston and if you get into some jungle-like shit, it's always good to have a machete. You can cut yourself through a path or whatever. Now, I'm doing that along the the northern um, Texas border side of the river without crossing it and going off to the side. And I'm off in the woods, chopping through, and then suddenly my machete wasn't in my hand. My chain wallet was gone with the chain on it. Everything I had in my pocket that was metal was gone. Everything metal was gone. Everything that I had that was metal was fucking gone. Minus the fucking button in my pants. That wasn't gone. Things like that didn't disappear. But all the loose metal that I had did disappear. It was gone. And I was like, what the fuck? And I'm looking around. I'm trying to find it. 
or figure out what the fuck happened. And it didn't take very long. But I had an encounter with the spirit of Pukwedgie. It's what they call them up north. We might call them something different down here, but that's that's not the point. The Indians told about this spirit. Now this spirit told him, he's like, what are you doing? Do you even know? Yo, you're chopping up, you're chopping up my kids. You're chopping up, you're killing plants. You're just taking life. You know, do you know what you're doing? And I'm like, are these your, are these plants your kids? And, you know, we entered into conversation and I became aware of things unseen in a new way that I had not had previously had any fathoming of. Now, the entity explained to me some things and it promptly gave me all my shit back. It was in a pile on some laid down like grass. And um, even showed me, I could look across the river and I could see the, um, it was kind of like a hill to where the land was higher up and the river was lower, kind of like it is here with the river, but not as high. And he did his hand like this and made a cross section where I could see inside of the, I could see inside the earth on the other side of the river and I could see veins of metal. And the entity said that that's, that's their food. That's what they eat. And I'm like, okay, so you're not really a physical creature in the same way. So I could understand that that could be possibly true. That it gave me new insight. So I don't go and chop. I actually had a bamboo stick that I got from a, like a, a big sale they had at some place where they had a bunch of stuff outside and had a really nice, like bamboo cane that I got and I took it out there and I pushed the stuff down when I went after that I didn't I didn't go through just hacking and slashing anymore like was my previous uh, modality you know and when I left I had had a vision where I'd saw this red giant and I'd had this encounter with this red giant looking like me or barbarian looking thing and he had a scroll and he unrolled the scroll and he began to read it to me and tell me why I was going to have to leave but there was a presence there was a the with the presence would come anything with any noggin will orient themselves away from it because it's like a light and a heat and a power that would probably melt you. Probably. You would be destroyed if you were to encounter it head on. And not somehow, you know, avert your gaze. And I'd always reasoned. That, that's why they say that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Because in this case, it was. Because if you didn't have that fear, you wouldn't survive. Because whatever it was, was so hostile to humanity in the state that we're in, that it would you would be destroyed. You would be destroyed. You couldn't deal with it one in one, because it was greater than you. And it was dealing with a superiority complex to that degree but it did have some sort of uh, dealings with us as humans in a different sort of way I guess because me I, I figured that's the either Orion entities operating on the earth being the fake Yahweh I don't know you know like I say I don't have my same religious beliefs in the same barriers as I used to because ultimately although I did go back and heed it I got in trouble and went to jail and I had to win a court case which a lot of these same themes were involved and that was really the last time that I you know 
my family or my marriage had already dissolved because of what was occurring with my um, wife and her step and her dad, her real dad. Her real dad had killed her mom, although it was an accident. He had killed like seven other women before that, and I thought that was crazy to hear that. But then when I looked a little further, I'm like, I can see what's going on now. He was a useful stooge in, in that being a, a, a certain way, you know, and a lot of those other deaths were useful to certain parties, most likely. Now, I didn't look, I didn't need to see anymore when I got the verification of that to me. So, I left the job. I immediately went and got my stuff and I left. One of the things that I did when I was down there that may have been either an agitator to end that relationship I was already having, and mostly with myself, but the within-without relationship. If you're going to be in a dangerous situation and die... You know, would I be making money that it could be sent home? It could have been, my ex could have been in a situation that she might have died, getting the benefits of that and then taking them how she did to do as she needed and believed to be the case. Possibly. I don't know. I cannot say completely different person and I think she's more grown up now that she actually I've seen her but I don't think she was ever trying to be a wife to me and I think the relationship that we do have was more like a familiar and uh, their companion which is not appropriate for a marriage at all it could be appropriate to be friends you know and even from that context of realizing that I may have been fucked up on the nature of the relationship and perhaps in a way she wasn't, but in a way she was too, you know, because having tried to be a wife, it, it wouldn't probably be, it would be something she would be able to fit the same way. It would, it would cause the same problem for her, but in a different sort of way. And that's not, the, that's not the type of problem that you can sustain and endure at the same time. You have to bring it to some sort of halt. It has to, or you won't. You won't survive it. You just won't. I had a different understanding of that, and I had guides that could uh, help me along the way. And if they didn't appear in my dreams, they would appear in the physical reality. And they were of the spirit in... Uh, the spirit folk, the we people, or whatever you want to call them, fairies and fays, uh, they do have a correlation to that in the outside. And it does get weird. And they are more powerful than us. The little people, the fairies, or whatever. They could kill you so easily. It wouldn't even be a joke. But why do we not see them? Are we not making great efforts to get some sort of proof of even Bigfoot? Why do you think we can't get it? Because we don't, we're not going to get it. You're not going to get the proof. Because that's not what it's about. It's about something else. And the difference of what it is and what it isn't is vast. But it can be told to be not very significant or not that big of a deal but it is it's a great departure from what is thought and what is most commonly believed just saying and it is that's why i won't go into what steve harvey does Shoot, i'll leave it to cat williams to say what steve harvey harvey do when he goes to the Jay-Z party. I know you, Steve Harvey.
can't resist. Mm, he liked them hot women. Taking the sausage. It ain't even worth some Beyonce. As far as I'm concerned, I wouldn't take no sausage. No, sir. But I wouldn't deal with no sausage fears either. <laughs>